Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today we have something quite cool. We have the first ever modem that we sold here at Livewire Telecom. So this is the Mobile Connect modem, the original E220 from Huawei. And we're just gonna basically unbox this, show what it's about. Well, unbox is more of a, a case, a CD case, so uncase it. And we're gonna compare this sort of quick comparison between this and our most modern modem that we've got in the 5G mobile Wi-Fi Pro. So we're gonna check this mobile Wi-Fi Pro to the side for now. So we just go over some of the box contents for the E220 modem. So a little backstory, this was released in 2007 by Huawei. This one we actually have, we got this in early 2008. So we're not 100% sure if it was manufactured in 2008 or 2007, but this is it here. So on the outside of the box, you'll notice it's very different from the more recent Huawei devices. It's this sort of red colorway, but I think that's because this is a Vodafone model. So that's probably why. You notice the brand of Huawei is very small. It literally just has it on the back here. It's still manufactured by Qualcomm. You'll be able to see that. There's some information on the back here. It's basically stating that it's a plug and play wireless modem, which basically means you plug it in, it'll install the drivers and you're ready to go. You'll see that it boasts some speeds here of over two megabits per second download, comparison to the 1.65 gigabits download for the mobile Wi-Fi Pro. It's sort of massive difference so that's basically the outside of the box there's not much on there yeah, as I said, it's more of a CD case. I'm just going to open this up now. So inside, you have your E220 device here. You have the USB cables. And then on this side, you've got some of the details for the device itself. So inside, you've got this information slip. Now, this is all in Spanish, so I can't actually read it. But I'm just going to guess this is accessories and sort of what will be inside the box. This would be your uh, sort of model information and some like ter almost terms and conditions type thing for the E220 device. And then this is your sort of setup guide for the Vodafone one. So you actually needed to install the drivers that came with this. And this basically shows you how you would do that. So establish a owner connection. I imagine that's how to connect or something. Yeah, so that's the paperwork side of the box. I'm gonna pull the device itself out now. On the outside of the device, you'll notice it's fairly straightforward and quite simple. It's got the Huawei branding on the back along with the model number, the IBI, and where it was assembled, so assembled in China. On the front, it's got that Vodafone branding. It's got an indicator light for this LED for power and connection. And then on the side here, SIM card tray, and on the top, you've got the USB connection. So that is it for the actual outside of this device. On the inside, it's got a internal antenna for connecting to 3G and GPRS bands. So that is why the speeds are so limited on this device. As I said, it's both over two megabits per second, but it was capped at 3.6 megabits per second, which today you would not even be able to run your day-to-day -day phone on that, I imagine. We do have the full spec sheet here. We will link it in the description below. It's fairly large spec sheet, so we're not gonna go through all of it. We'll just cover some of the key features of this E220 device. This is one of the first device that was able to send and receive SMS text. So I think we read online, someone did a test for this. They could send 400, 160 character long messages messages in 15 minutes so that was the max that this device could actually do it's actually quite impressive for something of this size you will notice that the device is fairly small compared to nowadays modems this was as i said you had to plug this in for this to work so it didn't necessarily need that ginormous battery if we quickly compare this to the 5g mobile wi-fi pro that we've got here you will see the vast size difference so this fits basically a quarter of the size and I'd say half the width. This is because this has obviously got a ginormous battery and it is also a power bank on the 5G Mobile Wi-Fi Pro and you don't need it to be plugged in. And it's also dual band, but in comparison for size, this is obviously a lot more portable. You wouldn't even know you were carrying this. It's extremely light. So that's about it for some of the specialities for this E220 modem or the original modem that we had here, the first one we sold. We'll compare sort of a, a quick spec overview for the 5G Mobile Wi-Fi Pro. We have already done a video on this device. If you want to see that, it will be linked in the description below and above me right here now. So you can click that and see the full spec rundown for this 5G Mobile Wi-Fi Pro. We did an in-depth sort of breakdown of what it's capable of and what you could expect from the device. As is clear in the name, the 5G Mobile Wi-Fi Pro is able to reach those 5G speeds 
speeds, so 1.65 gigabits per second download, so that is, in comparison, basically infinitely more than this could with its 3 megabits per second. It could also get an upload speed of up to 300 megabits per second. On the spec sheet, we couldn't actually find the upload speed for this, but I imagine it's probably in the kilobits. Obviously, as mentioned, this runs on the 5 gigahertz band frequency and the 2.4 4G gigahertz frequency, whereas the E220 only runs on 3G and GPRS, so you couldn't really even compare them on the same network because they don't actually cross over. As I said, this is a lot bigger. It has an 8,000 milliamp hour battery inside and weighs about 280 grams. So compared to this, it's completely different. So that's some of the key features. As I said, it's only gonna, gonna be a short overview of the differences between the original modem we had here in 2007 and the 5G Mobile Wi-Fi Pro 2020 edition. So we thought it'd be quite cool that someone actually kept the original E220 just hanging around in a desk drawer from when we did our first sale of these modems. So we thought it was interesting. And if you want to see a more in-depth review, maybe we can test this, leave it in the comments below and we'll just we'll be sure to do that. Again, if you want to see more about the 5G Mobile Wi-Fi Pro, it'll be linked in the description. I didn't go through all the specs of this device, but we will leave a link to the spec sheet also in the description below. So if you want to read all the details about this Huawei E220, they'll be available to you in the description below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one.